Okay, so in this video, let's see how we can compile SAS files into regular CSS. Okay, so um, first what we need to do is we need to install a plugin called Gulp SAS. Okay, so we're gonna do npm install dash dash save dev and then install Gulp SAS. Okay. Okay, so now that that has installed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to require it at the top here. So we'll do var SAS equals to require gulp sas okay so next let's create um some css sas files uh, that we can work on so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a css folder here and in there i'm gonna create a main dot scss okay scss is the extension for sas files so let's go ahead and create um just some simple sas in there so i'm going to create a class header so if you know sas you know that you can nest things so let's say um nav one and let's say uh nav two let's say border just some uh simple css one pixel for the border top let's say border bottom um two pixels okay so Let's create, um, configure this SAS here so that it can compile um, this main.scss into main.css for us, okay? So where we have to do that is in CSS here. So we're gonna have to do gulp.source. So basically we wanna get the source um, that is these files here. So how we can do that is we have to specify that we want every file in the CSS folder that ends with an extension of um, scss and how we do that is you do a star dot scss so basically what that means is that any file with this um, dot scss extension and um what you want to do with all the files that you've got is pipe them into um the next um function and the next function we want to use is sas so we want to pass it to the sas function here and then we want to um pipe it to um the destination okay so how you do the destination is gulp dot um dest so the destination is going to be css folder okay so that's all we got to do and um let's just run our task so we're just going to focus on css task for now so let's do gulp css and um it says we have an error uh pile it should be pipe and i'm going to run that once more as you can see css task here it has finished and it has created a main.css for us as you can see it compiled main dot um, sas into um, this css file for us here okay so if you don't know the difference just notice that um, now this is regular css there's no nesting because you cannot do that in css as of now and this is the sas file here okay so if we wanted to compress that um to say let's say uh, we wanted to remove all the white spaces and everything is like squished so we save space um how you do that is in this sas function here you pass in an object to say output style um and then you give the value of compress okay so i'm gonna save that and run this task once more and now let's look at the main.css and as you can see everything has been squished together okay so um, that's how you uh, compile um, SAS files into CSS files. And in the next video, let's see how we can take care of um, concatenating many SAS files into one and then um, compressing them into one output. Okay. And I thank you for watching. I will see you soon in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.